Hey team, welcome to yet another Math Olympiad exam question. In today's video, we're going to be diving deep into, into problem number four. We're going to break them down step by step and showcase the best strategies that could lead you to the correct answer. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into it right away. In the below equation, we have the letters A, B, C and D and E, and they represent different base 10 digits. So the right hand side is a 16 digit number and the AA is a two digit number. Just to ensure this is A to the power of A. So given that C equals nine, find A, B, D and E. So let's start by getting a feel for how big A is. And it's a useful fact to know that not just for BMO, but in life, that two to the power of 10 is equal to 1024. And we're going to use this to investigate the possibilities for A. So let's start by thinking about how big 2 to the 22 is. Well, this would give us 2 squared times 2 to the 10 squared. And that's about 4 million. And this is an underestimate here. Nevertheless, this is quite a bit smaller than the right hand side up here. So A is not going to be two. And we can also use this fact to investigate whether A can be four. So again, that's gonna be four to the 44. And that's equal to two squared to the 44, which is equal to two to the 88 which is equal to two to eight multiplied by two to 10 to the power of eight, which is going to be greater than or equal to 10 cubed to the power of eight, which is 10 to the power of 24. So this is much too big, which means that we've now got a range between two and four. And that there gives us A being equal to three. So we know that A is three, and this means that we would have 3 to the power of 33 plus 33 equals 3 and 3 to the power of 32. So it's quite tempting now to do a digit sum and to say that the remaining digits are a power of 3. But because we have so many different letters, we don't immediately get to an answer that works. So to be slightly more efficient, let's take a look at the final two digits and see what happens to the final two digits of the powers of three by considering the remainders that they leave when you divide by 100. So let's have a look at this. So we'll have three squared, which equals nine. And I want to end up at three to the 32. And so I could multiply this by three each time, but it will take a, a long time. And I could get to three to the power of 32, but I'll do that through squaring. So if I square both sides, we'll get three to the four, which equals to 81. And that's a remainder of 81 when you divide by 100. And I can square it again by having three to the eight. And that's going to be 81 times 81. And because I'm only interested in the last few digits, it doesn't matter what happens over here, but I know that it will finish with a six and a one. And I can write, therefore, that this is congruent to 61 mod 100. So when I divide by 100, it means it leaves a remainder of 61. And we can square the sides again to get 3 to the power of 16. And that is also congruent to 21 mod 100. So 3 to the 32 is congruent to 41 mod 100. And so we've got there, and we're going to add on the 11, as you can see, it ends in that. So we'll have three to the power of 32 plus 11, which gives us 52 mod 100. And then if we go ahead and multiply this by three, we get 56. Well, this is brilliant news because you can see that our numbers finish with the digits five and six. And that tells us that B must be five and E must be six. And that's our three digits so far. So we've almost got everything now. So we know every letter 
apart from D. And now we can go back to this to see exactly how it looks. So we know here that the left-hand side is divisible by three, which means our digit sum is also divided by three. But again, you can see that the three goes into the nine and the sixes, but also the nine fives here. So what are we left with? Well, we're left with three being divided by 2D. And that therefore means that three must be divided by D. So we can simply think about the possible options by three, which can be three, six, or nine. And remember, it can't be three because A is already three, and it had to be different digits. And it can't be six, and it can't be nine, and there's only one option left. And that there is D being zero. And that there gives us all four letters, where A was three, B is five, E is six, and D is zero. And there you have it, the mesmerizing realm of the BMO Math Olympiad 2020, unraveled and explored. We hope this explanation has given you a better insight into the range of questions and the methods that you need to take when being given this sort of, these sort of questions. So remember, every problem is an opportunity to learn. So don't give up, keep up the great work and keep seeking challenges. Don't forget to share and like this video for more relevant content. And I hope to see you in our next video.